Good afternoon. It is 12.45. I spent the whole entire morning cleaning like my whole entire apartment. I got rid of all the clothes on the floor. Um, and then I did some stuff in my closet. I basically cleaned my bathroom a little bit too, but closet is nice and clean now. So now I'm about to have my first personal training session with a new client, which I'm super excited about. Unfortunately, I'm not taking on any more clients. Um, I'm probably gonna be full until February and I'm only gonna open up spots if someone happens to leave. I tend to work with my clients for about like seven months to a year, if not more than that. So uh, I apologize, but definitely join the challenge if you do want some one-on-one -on -one help. Um, that's the only thing that's really gonna be available until like next year. So I am about to head over to my apartment gym now, but during the first sessions, we literally just test mobility, flexibility, basic exercises, some activation, and kind of go over like what the person's goals are, what they want to do. I have like a full apartment gym, so it's pretty easy to do anything they would like to do. It is now 2.45 and I just got my Amazon package for the jewelry. I literally like did not pick it up from the mailbox until I, after I finished my new client. She was so sweet. I think my favorite thing about the way that I get my clients is that I don't have to worry about whether or not I'm going to get along with them like you would if you were getting clients in a gym because like you guys know me. So if you watch my videos enough to like want to work with me, you probably like me, which means we're probably going to get along. So that was super fun. Um, and I'm excited to train again on Saturday. So I have some exciting news. I wasn't sure if I was going to bring this up because I was like, I don't want to jinx it. But technically, I can't jinx it because this video is going to go up after like all of this has been figured out. But yesterday, I got a call from one of the shelter dogs that I had applied for and I think I'm getting him. So he is a Chesapeake Bay Retriever because I cannot get away from Maryland which is too funny. Let me see if I can find him quickly. Um, I found him through Pet Finder and so the foster mom reached out to me yesterday and kind of did like an interview and was asking me questions. And then she was like, okay, great. Well, your application seems wonderful. I'm glad you're a personal trainer, blah, blah, blah. Because it's a Chesapeake Bay Retriever and they think it's mixed with either a Pointer or a Border Collie or both. So it's a pretty active dog. It's a dog that's gonna get pretty big, but it'll be fine in the apartments that I'll be in for the next year and a half. It's fine here, which is gonna be another like half a year. Um, and then the next one, I'll just have to pay attention to like the weight and everything when I'm applying for places. But a lot of times the apartments are a little bit more flexible. You just have to talk to them about it. Um, and with everything that's happening right now, apartments are so much cheaper and they're really trying to get people to rent. So if things are still as questionable as they are right now during this next spring when I'm moving, I don't think I'm going to have any issues. But either way. I'm having the dog, so I'm bringing it wherever it is that I'm going. But he's so cute. So the shelter is Dirt Road Doggies. I actually applied for a bunch at this one shelter. And he was actually returned by someone who had just adopted him because they couldn't figure out how to potty train him. But I thought I'd show you guys the jewelry that I picked up. And so I was like, this is beautiful. And all the reviews said that they don't tarnish, which is all I care about with jewelry. So I went ahead and I got a size seven for the rings, cause that is usually my size. Um, and you can actually push the ring in or out. So that is beautiful. So I'll link these down below if you guys are interested in checking any of them out. But I thought that was really pretty. And then I picked up, I think a rose gold one. And then I got that tennis bracelet. So I've never been one to buy bracelets because look at how small my wrist is. 
I've just never been able to find anything that fits my wrist. And now with, you know, Amazon being a thing, they have stuff for everyone now, which is really nice because literally every bracelet I think I ever had, I lost because it just was way too big. So this is the rose gold one, oops, which is so pretty. It's just like a basic band. And then I got a silver tennis bracelet. I just thought it was beautiful. And I don't think I would ever buy real diamonds. I was talking to my mom about this the other day because you would straight up get robbed in Atlanta. Like someone would just snatch it off of your wrist or your finger. So uh, we're here for the cheapies. currently 11 a.m. I've just been working all morning. I have to get some groceries today. I have to film for the challenge, which you guys will see. And then I'm thinking about getting dog stuff. I'm getting really anxious about this because I feel like it's gonna happen, like everything's gonna happen so suddenly because the next step is for me to meet this dog and then we do like the apartment tour thing through I guess FaceTime or something but I'm like I should probably have stuff already like I'll wait to get the food because I want to figure out what food he's eating and I'll wait to do the crate and everything but I feel like toys treats for training I feel like I can get that stuff now but I also want to get some stuff off of Chewy but then like if you go to Ross or Marshalls, Home Goods, places like that, they always have dog treats, like really good quality for super cheap. That's where we get all of Ella's stuff, basically, um, when we're just giving her new stuff to try out. So I think I might go over there today, maybe after I go to the grocery store, but then I'm also trying to figure out what time I wanna go to the gym. And the main thing that's making all of this annoying is I ordered a Pretty Little Thing package on Saturday or Sunday and they say it's supposed to come here today. I don't know how that's even possible But pretty little thing requires you to be here for a signature for whatever reason when it ships from the UK so I'm like I don't know the last time I ordered from them it took more days than they said it would and I feel like it's going to but then I'm like I don't want to miss it So I am about to head out. I'm wearing my new little bag here um, it actually fits a lot in it, and you actually put the straps on the outside so that the handles stay up, but yeah, so I've got my essentials in there, um, outfit of the day, this jacket's from Shein, it's so funny because I have so many clothes that I like wore and I have memories with and I feel like I need to get rid of them and this jacket is one of them, but nonetheless it's a cute look for today. Um, this top is Bernie Melville, same necklace as always. Belle is from Shein from ages ago. These jeans are actually from American Eagle, but I got them for $8 from the thrift store. So I'm not gonna get like a bed, crate, stuff like that, because say I don't get this dog for whatever reason, I don't wanna get stuff that's gonna be specific to the size of this particular dog. So I would rather just wait um, and do that once I actually have it. I also don't know what he's going to come with since he is from a foster home, but someone already had adopted him. So we're going to switch to my phone. It's really dark. <laughs> I've never been to this Marshalls. This is the one over, I guess, in Buckhead. I think the other closest one is in Lindbergh, and I just don't like that area. Because there's like a shopping center. I actually went there in one of my vlogs, I'm pretty sure, um, right next to the Marta, and it just really is not my vibe. So we came to this one instead, so we'll see what they have. It looks like it's pretty big. Most Marshalls have like the same type of stuff when it comes to like dog stuff and everything, so I'm sure I'll be able to find some goodies. Pull through, make my life easier. 
I think one of my doors has been like open or something because I feel like it was really loud. It was driving. I don't know what's going on. I love this bag. She's so cute. We need to name her. She's very loud though because of the charms. It's not like super loud, but I don't have any bags that like have stuff hanging off of them. So I think I'm just not quite used to it. Oh, nice. This is just like getting really crusty up there. It's definitely not what I was going for. It is about to start raining, so if the lighting starts changing, I apologize. So we went ahead and we picked up a couple things. I'll haul it all when I get home, but it was a little under $20, which is really good for the amount of stuff that I got. So now the only other things I want to try and find that I know will make sense no matter like what dog I get, like say I don't get him for some reason fingers crossed I do but for some reason I end up with a different dog I don't want to get stuff that's just gonna be curated for him so I don't want to pick out like a harness yet but I am going to get a collar and a leash so I can always get you know nicer ones later on but I want to make sure I at least have one because I don't know if he's gonna have a leash on when I get him and I'm not a leash a collar on when I get him and I'm definitely gonna need like a basic leash for taking him out um and yeah, so we're gonna wait on the harness because I don't know how big he is. We're gonna wait on the dog bed, size reasons again. Um, wait on the crate. And then I think for the crate, I'm gonna look on Facebook Marketplace. A lot of people usually give away their crates there because it's like as a dog grows, the best thing to do is try and sell that back since they tend to be a little bit more expensive. Um, and then I'm gonna get some like toys from Target. So a lot of the stuff that I do want to get, I am actually going to be getting off of Chewy, but I want to have some stuff to start with. And so it makes the most sense for me to get some stuff now um, and just get it from Target. So the toys that we got for Bella, oh my Lord, the toys that we got for Bella from Target, we still have for her. And Bella is like five years old. So I really trust their quality. It lasts a really long time. So I don't really feel bad about spending a little bit of money on that. Yeah, this is really not a look. All right, so we're filming some stuff for the challenge. I'm filming some stuff for you guys. And if you want like a full explanation, I'm gonna post the work on an Instagram too. So check that out if you haven't seen it. You guys did not miss anything crazy yesterday. It rained all day long. I didn't even leave my house. It's like 60 degrees outside, so it was absolutely freezing. Um, but I did go ahead and wash this hair. So it just finished air drying and I just brushed it out. So it's like super frizzy and looks 
you know, like half blown out or whatever. So we are just going to straighten it. I don't think I'm gonna wear any makeup for the basics that I'm doing today. As weird as it's gonna sound, I usually put it on for the gym when I'm filming. It just feels a little bit more professional when I am wearing makeup. I don't know. It sounds stupid, but that's what I do. I am about to take a video of my apartment, just showing her what the vibe is. So, we're using my little bum bag today. Thought I'd switch it up. I brought some water with me because I noticed I'm usually dehydrated when I didn't go to the gym the day before. I'm always dehydrated, let's be completely honest here. But, we're gonna go to another Marshall's. So I'm trying to figure out if I wanna go to that same one again because I did have stuff, or if I just want to go to a different one. So the one I went to last time was in um, Buckhead. So there's one over by Decatur, kind of. Ooh, is that the one in Brookhaven? No. Okay, the one in Brookhaven has really good reviews by Oakthorpe University. Oh, that's so far away. Marshalls truly had the goods so highly recommend this one and the people that worked there were so nice I was chatting up about the dog for a hot minute so I was in there the um, foster mom gave me an update on charger who's soon to be Bailey and it's so funny because she got me so worried um, and I like texted my friend Sandra and I was like I sent her like a screenshot of what the dog mom said because she sent me this long paragraph and she was just updating me on him because I sent her the video of um, my apartment. And so she was saying that he has separation anxiety and that he's been barking more. Um, she was saying I didn't know if it was because he was becoming more attached or because he had an upset stomach. So I ended up having hookworms. Lots of puppies always end up with something, especially from the rescues. So she said that that has been treated she treated him for it yesterday and now he's just on the monthly preventative thing so that's not a big deal at all uh, that was the first thing then she said that he had an accident in his crate and she was saying it was probably because it was raining and she didn't have him outside for that long which makes sense um, and then yeah so then she was talking about the barking and she was saying he has a very loud bark I don't want that to be a problem with you um, where I am in my apartment complex it really like I'm rarely ever disturbing anyone, if we're being completely honest. And barking's not an issue. Like, no one really wants a dog that's barking a lot. But that was, like, the main thing. And then she was telling me about these other puppies that were available. So that's a little update on him. I got more stuff. We got a doggy bed. So I'll show you guys all of this when I get home. I'll haul this stuff and the stuff that I got from Target and then Marshall's when I went the other day too. And then we'll do the Chewy one when I get all of that stuff together. But I did get two things to, for myself because I have a problem and I always end up buying snacks whenever I'm leaving. You can blame my mom for it. She got me into the habit. So we got some truffle salt popcorn, gluten-free. They have the best gluten-free snacks that you can try out when you go to Marshall's or TJ Maxx. Pro tip, if you have allergies, that's like the best place to get snacks. And then these corn chips. So I'm gonna try these now because I can actually reseal them. So it's currently 1.30. I'm calling one of my clients at 2.30. Very excited to talk to her. So yeah, they're made to be like topped with stuff, but <laughs> fam, I'm hungry. I didn't have breakfast before I left because I was like, I don't wanna get stuck in traffic. And whenever I'm like, oh, I'll just do this quickly. It's never quick, so. So I'm calling my client in 30 minutes, so I thought I would haul all the stuff that I have gotten from Marshalls, Target, yep. <laughs> so 
oh my god, I tried the popcorn. I have eaten, like, no joke, like, half the bag. It says there's only four servings per container, so I guess it's not that bad. This stuff is amazing. I love truffle oil. <laughs> so I highly recommend if you like truffle oil. But I'm going to go over the prices and everything as well. So I'll start with my stuff from Target. So if you are looking to get a dog, you have a dog, whatever it may be, do not pay full price for things. <laughs> like, please go to Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Ross, any of those places. It's the same brands, but they're cheaper. Like, there's just absolutely no reason to be paying like $15 for a bag of snacks, just like normal snacks. I'm not talking jerky. I'm talking just basic snacks that you could probably make yourself for like 20 cents. So yeah, but Target does have some of the best toys. I told you guys that we got a lot of our toys for Bella from Target and she still has them and she's like five years old. So I went ahead and I got one toy from Target. This is a squeaky one. I don't know where he, oh yeah. So it's like on the feet and stuff. I thought this was really cute. It's super fuzzy. Um, and this was, I think this was like a decent price. Oh, which one is he? Okay, yeah, $7, so that's not bad for a toy. I picked up some of the stain remover. So they did have some of this at Marshall's, but the entire bottle was in Spanish. And I was like, I don't even know if I'm picking up the right thing. So I just got it from Target. And this one was $12. So these are expensive, but it's supposed to last you a pretty long time. I'm pretty sure we only went through one bottle during Bella's like, year-long puppy phase basically um, but make sure you get one that has enzymes in it because the enzymes are what lift the odor from your carpet floor whatever it is so that the dog can't smell it so it's not just like a like a Febreze like it actually lifts the odor from it I then picked up just some puppy wipes I don't know if these were from Target or from Marshall's but I don't think oh yeah they're from Marshall's actually Sorry, but these were only $5 from Marshalls, and it cleans off dirt and odor. It has no parabens or sulfates. Um, this one is vitamin E and aloe. There was also one that was bamboo, I think, um, and they have scented and unscented. I just got the vanilla one, and then I picked up the leash and the collar. So I got a medium collar. It's for dogs up to 50 pounds, so we'll see. Um, he'll most likely outgrow this, but I think this will be... A good size for him kind of like an in-between I didn't want to get small because I think that he I think it would just be a little bit too tight on him also please let me know um, are people not keeping collars on their dogs like during the day anymore because I was watching some YouTube videos when people were hauling stuff and people were talking about the colors I don't know because we always kept one on Bella like 24 7 it was pretty loose but it never bothered her um, and we didn't do a harness with her, so if we didn't have a collar on her and she ran away, which she's done multiple times, uh, we would never find her again. <laughs> Let me know what is the deal with collars, maybe something has changed and I'm out of the loop. And then I just got a leash to match. This one, I think is, is this one six feet? It's either four feet or six feet. Those are like the ones that they usually recommend to begin with, and he is like basically leash trained so uh, yeah so I got these two the leash was $7.99 and then the not the leash the collar was $7.99 the leash was $15 so you can get these cheaper definitely somewhere else but I didn't really mind spending that I'd rather have a good quality one for a while so now moving on to Marshall's where the deals live we picked up course these are all labeled by like numbers so bear with me but this is the one that we went to that was in um what you call it buckhead <laughs> oh the tags on here okay so these were four dollars these are just dental jerky sticks these are made with real meat um it has 20 percent protein 10 percent fat and the moisture is 12%. So you usually want to get like as high as the protein as you can. Obviously it depends on like the serving size, 
but um, yeah, just keep that in mind if you are getting meat snacks. I then picked up just some little tiny treats. This brand's pretty good. This has 11% protein, 6% fat, 30% moisture, and it does also have omega-6 and omega-3s in them. This was $3. I got the collapsible like travel bowls for when we go on walks and stuff. So just looks like that. I wasn't too crazy about uh, the color, but what are you gonna do? It's really not that big of a deal. So it can expand and be pretty big. So this was $6 and they're a little bit cheaper at Marshall's then on Chewy, but not by that much. I then picked up some stuff today from Marshall's. So I got two dog bowls. So I don't know how tall he is, so I don't want to get like a raised um, feeding station yet until I can like actually measure him. So I just got regular bowls for now and I'll use one of these um, outside on my patio. So they were just $3 each. I just got two of the same ones. They're just ceramic which is good because they can't get knocked over. So I got this toy because I thought this was funny because he's a Chesapeake Bay Retriever and they like to hunt ducks. This is a squeaky toy somewhere. Yeah. So this one was $6.99. I got this one. I just thought this was so cute. And I think it's really funny when puppies have puppy toys. <laughs> so this one was only $5.00. This is Wags and Perps, and this one has a squeaker on the inside. I then picked up a bunch of treats. So I got trainers, like actual trainer treats. So these are $4. People really rave about these, so I went ahead and I got the bacon one. Um, they are grain-free, of course, um, and the first ingredient is pork. So they also have chicken, peanut butter, and salmon flavors. And then last but not least, I got this huge dog bed. So it is made with memory foam. This was the most expensive thing that I got. This one was $40. They had a couple different ones, um, but these memory foam beds are so expensive. Please don't buy one from the store. Like get it from a discount store. There's absolutely no reason to be spending like $100 on a bed for an animal. So same quality. <laughs> It's just like actually a normal price. So this one is made of orthopedic foam. Um, it is machine washable and it's by Canine Creations, a little mattress bed. So this one actually isn't going to go in his crate. This one's just going to be laid out. So it's got a nice furry side and then a basic side. I wanted to do this because um, this side's going to be like a little bit cooler than the furry side. I did not want to spend too much money on a bed because some dogs just don't like beds. Bella only just started using a dog bed this year and we've had her forever. Like we've gotten her them in the past and she was just always like, what is this? I sleep wherever I want and we never create treasures. So, um, we tried. If you've ever had a soft coated wheat and terrier, you know, it's just physically impossible. Hello. Hi, it's Lauren. Thank you. 
is now 6.20, had a great workout. I also added some bicep curls and like tricep super set stuff just to get some arms in for this week. So I decided I'm not going to Kroger because I don't feel like doing it, to be completely honest. So I'm just gonna Amazon Fresh everything. The only thing I might need to get from Kroger eventually will be my shrimp, but this will just be the stuff that I'll use for meals for the next like week and a half or so, because that's kind of how I do my groceries nowadays. It just makes more sense. So we're just gonna head home, and I'm hoping that doing this as well will mean that I'll get there for them delivering this package. <laughs> we'll see if I'm so lucky. I just came in. So I actually have no idea if I'm getting charger today. I think it is just simply the meet and greet, but I texted the foster mom and I asked her what I'm supposed to bring, <laughs> if I'm supposed to bring anything, so that'll let me know. But I did bring a blanket that I'm just putting in the back right now because I know I'll forget later. So if I do end up bringing him back, then I'll have something set up. I have a coupe if you didn't know, which I'm in love with. I don't think I would ever drive a normal car again, to be honest. Get this they do have like the can version but it's not the puppy formula and this is the one I'm gonna switch him over to which is pretty cheap oh we are completely set so I picked up the food he's on now which is the natural balance um, and this is the puppy formula duck and potato formula so I'm gonna slowly move him over to this one um, probably in the span of a week and a half I think they normally say a week is the norm, but because I think his food has been switching a little bit with him being adopted, I'm going to take precautions to make sure he doesn't get an upset stomach. And this is the one I saw online that people recommended for the breed. Um, I want to do like a combination of raw and kibble, and this one comes in the pack. And this stuff is pretty cheap. So this breed only really eats, I think it's like two and a half cups of food a day. So definitely not breaking the bank. So I just talked to the dog mom and she said that I don't need to bring anything, so that's good. So I believe it's just the meetup, which is awesome. So I've got everything ready to go anyways. I've got his bed, all of his toys are on there. Um, and then obviously I have the two bags of food now and bowls and all that jazz. So she said essentially what we'll do is they'll let me in through the gate because it's actually happening at someone's house because they don't have an official rescue spot right now. Apparently they're building one right by this lady's house, but until then she just does meetups there. So obviously she'll be there and the foster mom said that we'll see how the meetup goes, make sure we're a good fit and if things seem to be good to go, then she'll talk to me a little bit more about his separation anxiety and you know his quirks and everything. She's already told me a lot about him. He sounds like a very playful dog. The retriever breeds in general are very, very energetic. And I've only been looking at retriever breeds or like some sort of mix of a retriever. So all the stuff that I've been picking up is essentially for any sort of retriever mix. Cause I was like, you know, in case I don't end up with him for some reason, I'm the only adoptee that they have talked to, but for some reason, if things don't work out, I have stuff that will still work for a retriever breed. But she said that the lady whose house it is knows a lot more about separation anxiety and stuff, and she can give me some tips. Um, my little Bella back home, if you're new here, you probably don't know Bella. She is my phone background. Ugh. Let's see. Yeah. My little baby. Um, she had really bad separation anxiety 
when we first got her as a puppy because we got her from a breeder we had to get a full hyperallergenic dog so my mom is pretty allergic to dogs but um she doesn't like being alone in general like nothing has really changed <laughs> she doesn't really have issues with being alone anymore but she always likes to be in the room with someone she was always my little shadow and i was obsessed with her so i kind of like breeds that don't want to be alone because i i am always at my house by myself and i like want a dog that wants to hang out with me um i'm fine if the dog is still like kind of independent but i am into the clinginess when it comes to a puppy breed so um i think it'll be perfectly fine i know they're just making sure because he's been in like three homes now so that's a lot of moving around but i'm gonna train my client and then we're gonna get ready to go my great grandmother who i made my jamaica video on i'll see if i can find a card and put it up on the screen um but she just passed away. She was like 105 years old, which is absolutely insane. And so they're doing kind of like a funeral ceremony thing through Zoom or something at 12. So I'm going to jump on there for a little bit before I head out. This place is like an hour and 15 minutes away with a tiny bit of traffic. So I'm going to give myself um, a little bit of buffer time just in case. But you know, it's okay if I'm like a little bit early because she said she's gonna get there a little bit early anyways. Okay, so these shoes are not so we okay. pulse twice? Yeah. Okay. Literally some of the biggest homes I've ever seen are all the way out here, which makes sense, like land. Hello, but it's funny because whenever I'm like in rural areas like this, it reminds me of Maryland because I think most people who have never been to Maryland, you probably think of Baltimore and you probably have a complete misconception of Baltimore being just, oh my God, you're going to get shot anywhere you go. It's just not really how that works. Um, the city is mostly chill besides downtown. It's really the actual neighborhoods of Baltimore that you're not going to be in. Anyways, but most of Maryland is just like this. It's like just country. Technically, Maryland is the South. Um, we've just divided ourselves <laughs> um, over the years. Okay, she said dirt. It turns into a dirt road. Oh, all right. I got a mile. I wonder if the rest of this is going to be gravel. But yeah, these homes, craziness. Now, I wouldn't want to live all the way out here. And I'm also seeing like way too many flags going on. And when you start seeing like just overpopulation of the American flag, this is probably not the spot for me. Yeah. 